Well, ten episodes in, and here we are. I'm going to have to be honest with you and say that this movie is like the Murphy's Law of movies. Nobody sells this movie anymore from a 30 mile radius from my house. I can't find a decent website to download the entire movie. And above all else, if I put more than 10 seconds of any footage of this clip on the internet, there's no doubt that YouTube will hit me up with a copyright claim. Which is why I need to try something different with this episode. I need to make a change just this once. Try something new. Try something different. And I know just how to do it. And that is by shaving my face, wearing a button collar t-shirt with a suit jacket, and talking like a Southern California douchebag. Alright guys, front the movie. Here we go! Alright, so back in 2006, while YouTube was still in its infancy years, there was this kid named Lucas Cruchet who decided to make a few goof videos, calling himself Fred Ficklehorn, a very high-pitched, whiny little six-year-old kid. And by 2009, he was the first YouTuber to gain over a million subscribers on his channel, Fred. With that success, there must also be movies to follow. And of course, the executives over at Nickelodeon decided, why the heck not? And let's decide to make a movie about it. Fred the movie. Oh, what a piece of dump that thing was. Oh. So the movie starts off right off the bat with Fred sounding nothing like his YouTube persona from the from internet voice to movies. And they instead of being portrayed as a six-year-old, they decided to make him a 16-year-old. And have this crush named Judy, played by Pixie Lock. <laughs> I have to say, it's pretty awkward because they seem to be focusing more on Pixie Lock's singing than her acting skills, which were flat out horrible. And of course, you got a few others. You got Jeanette Curdy from iCarly, plays uh, Fred's best friend Gertie. You got this uh, wigger named Kevin, who's a pretty much an absolute bully towards uh, Fred throughout the entire movie. And a few other actors that, that are in here as well. Oh, and did I mention John Cena? Yeah, everyone's favorite. <laughs> na, na, na. So the main plot of the story is that Fred devises a plan to bring Judy over to his house and so they can sing together and be closer than they ever were before. Which was not at all because Fred always crushed on her and stalked her really hard throughout this entire movie but and always fantasized about her but Judy pretty much thought she was invisible. Why did he like her in the first place? Well, let's just see here. She's white, blonde, and a girl next door. Literally, girl next door. I mean, what the fuck, really? So anyways, uh, as he was trying many ways to get over to her house, he, Kevin, cock blocks him every which way, and by the time he gets over there, it comes to the conclusion that he was, that she is gone. I mean, she moved to the other side of town, and Fred decides to go on this journey to visit her over at her house. And what a terrible journey that was. First off, he packs up everything like he's gonna go out in the post-apocalyptic world. He comes across various people, from sarcastic bus drivers to Gertie again, Oscar from The Office who owns a pet shop now, which I kind of figure that's what he would do after he left The Office. And throughout the entire movie, it is just nothing but filler. Filler, filler, filler. By, by the, he has over like insane rant, he, ex he screams so annoyingly that I just wanted to burst my goddamn eardrums because it was so bad. I mean, by the 25 minute mark, he was screaming so profusely for the umpteenth time that I just wanted to check out. I mean, literally check out with a gun to my head. <laughs> but I was soldiered on through and throughout the entire movie, nothing made sense. The plot was horrible. The ter everything was this 45 minutes of failure of him trying to get there. And by the time he actually got there, she pretty much had her own uh, party with all the teenagers there, except for Fred. She, Judy pretty much told her to piss off, which embarrasses Fred to the point of him puking all over her floor and on her dress. <laughs> yeah, something like that. This resulted, of course, with Kevin videotaping the whole thing and posting it on, posting it on what else? YouTube, of course. So as payback, Fred decides to throw his own little party where nobody's invited except for his mom and Bertha. And throughout another 10 to 12 minutes, we get Bertha and Fred and his mother doing a whole montage of just faking an entire party with dummies, fake clothes, and everything else, and they were just having a blast and having a ball. And of course, Fred puts it on YouTube. 
which gains a lot more popularity to the point where all the high schoolers decide, hey, Fred is cool. So they wear, started wearing matching campy gear and camouflage, which none of, and camouflage outfits, which nobody else noticed that Fred wore earlier in the movie, but whatever. And of course, the movie ends with Judy stopping by over to Fred's house just so they can sing. <laughs> what? Really? Fuck that bitch. But you know what? If a girl ever tells me to piss off and decides to come back to my house a few days later just because I became internet famous, I would tell her no and just slam the door. <laughs> So overall, Fred the movie is quite honestly one of the worst pieces of crap I have ever seen ever. I mean, one of the worst. I'm talking Manos level bad and Fantastic Four reboot bad for the third time. And uh, I would urge anybody not to go see this. And for parents out there, just because it's a kid's movie doesn't mean your kids should watch it. It is bad. Really bad. So bad that Nickelodeon decides, hey, why not make two other sequels? <laughs> they certainly did. And I will get to those some other time. What do you guys think of the movie? Comment below and let me know. And of course, if you want to check out my daily activities, uh, you can subscribe right here to my YouTube channel or you can follow me on Twitter right there. Until then, this has been Maggie Tricks, and I'll see you guys next time on the Boob Dude.